After dozens of rocket launches, for the first time ever, SpaceX is finally sending the most valuable cargo into space, two human astronauts. Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley will blast off on a mission that could revolutionize how we get to the final frontier. We're going to have more access to space at a better cost than at any point in human history. You see, nearly a decade ago, NASA kicked off a new kind of space race, with the government agency awarding $3.1 billion to SpaceX and $4.8 billion to Boeing, an investment that could wind up saving NASA $20 to $30 billion. The 30 years long space shuttle program cost over an estimated $200 billion. It's been 17 years to get to this point, from 2002 to now. To be frank, I'm, I'm a, a a little emotionally exhausted. That emotionally charged journey for CEO and founder Elon Musk began in 2002 with the creation of SpaceX. Small flight operation. Stage one propulsion is nominal. That was designed to make space travel more affordable by reusing booster rockets that can land themselves after a launch, all with this ultimate goal in mind. I really believe in the future of space and, and I think it's important that we become a space frank civilization and, and I'll be out there among the stars. Eight years after the company's founding, SpaceX introduced the Falcon 9, a two-stage reusable rocket that's been shuttling supplies to the International Space Station since 2012. There have been setbacks as they work to perfect their reusable rocket technology, but since then they've been landing rockets on both land and sea. I always thought we would fail, so this is uh, all, it's all upside. But it's worth trying anyway. First three launches of Falcon 1 didn't work, and the fourth one we scraped together some parts and, and that one worked. And if that one hadn't worked, it would be, would have been, that would have been it for us. Other milestones include launching commercial satellites, including dozens of its own Starlink satellites with an aim to provide space-age internet. The company launched the first recycled Falcon 9 in 2017, a reusable booster that could take part in up to 100 launches, and the Falcon Heavy in 2018. Think three Falcon 9s strapped together. And even a Tesla with a human-looking driver on board. No, it's a mannequin. All of these leading to the first test of the Dragon capsule in 2019 that would carry the most valuable cargo, human astronauts. The first launch was unmanned, but it was successful, which is what makes the next launch possible. The liftoff from Launch Pad 39A, traveling at the speed of 17,000 miles an hour to the International Space Station, and bring them back home, hopefully safe and sound, securing Musk's status as a new kind of space pioneer. Emily Chang, Bloomberg, San Francisco.